Jay, Joe, Stephen, Hosa, and Daniel decided to apply to the SCP Foundation. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait. Stephen and I understand because D class people are lifetime prison criminals. Why the hell is Hosa here? Which. <laughs> We are not. We're Jay. just regular people. We're not criminals. Yeah, <laughs> I just need to pay off my college bills, so I'll take any job I can get, even if it's a threat to my life. Whatever the case is, we are now at the SCP Foundation interview process. The interviewer goes, Next, please! That is not how interview goes. It's, it's one of those like fast-paced interviews. Speed interviews. They, they don't care who they hire. <laughs> yeah, it's like speed dating. <laughs> They're gonna die anyways, so... <laughs> They just need bodies. No, no, that's not true, guys. We just want to give a chance for everybody. Yeah, everybody We dies. have amazing insurance, by the way. Oh. If you want to get that. Do you have dental? Uh, no. Uh, welcome to the SCP Foundation interview process. My name is James. Uh, do you guys have any previous experience working on a top secret organization that may lead to impending and inevitable doom? Hey, yo, what the fuck? Well, uh, a friend of mine told me his secret favorite flavor of ice cream is strawberry, not to tell anyone, and I kept that secret pretty well. Oh. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty good at hiding bodies and hiding it from the cops. Interesting. Do you have any close relatives that would question your disappearance? I'm a loner who lives in the middle of the woods. Great. Fantastic. Fantastic. My yeah. ex-girlfriend always contacts me every day. Steven, for the last time, she doesn't exist. No, she's totally real. She's in a different town. You don't know her. She moved away. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, what's her name? Emperoni? Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's totally real. Her name is Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, all of you guys are hired. You'll start working as a janitor in really? the class Euclid facilities. <laughs> You're gonna hire all of these oh, people? God. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. We got a job, boys. So you guys are all hired. Yay! 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 So what does this yeah, job no. entail? Did you not listen to the map? We were hired to clean as a janitor. Right, right. But what are we cleaning? Are we cleaning, like, goop or, like, the remains of past employees? It's, you know, things like that. <laughs> Time passes, and all of you have come in for the job. Good morning, Steven. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, oh, good Jay. Morning, How are you guys doing? I'm doing oh. fantastic. I had a lovely sleep, minus the screaming people. What the fuck? <laughs> you guys go to a bus station, but a different bus comes along and picks you up. And the next thing you know, you arrive at this huge facility. It almost looks like a prison. Oh, oh, jeez. The person that hired you comes along and says oh hi guys welcome hello so there is five of you the first job you'll be in charge of is cleaning scp-173's cell mm. nothing huge just make sure that if you want to blink mm. you let another person know that you have to blink and then you blink okay is this this creepy pasta wait no 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 no, no wait. this is a scary spaghetti <laughs> listen we're gonna go and do this job all right Jose, are Steven, we all gonna die joe yes i will clean the entire room for you all you have to do is promise me to look at a very very naked concrete block oh my god you guys are taken into a room And all you see is this weirdly shaped carved of creature. What the heck is this? What the what? What is that? And surrounding it are all these feces and blood piled up oh. next to each other. Do not take your eyes off that thing. I'm, I'm looking at it right now. I I don't like its badonkadonk. 
Oh. James says, all right, I gotta go soon. But again, once I open this door, you guys are gonna go in, not break eye contact. By the way, before the actual game begins, I have to let you know, each player has three lives and I will kill you guys without hesitation. If even one of you comes alive out today, you all win. This is gonna be a okay. bloodbath. Okay. Guys, does anybody know like in the Doctor Who, the Weeping Angels? Yeah, 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 I know Weeping Angels. That thing is that, oh. except for a lot quicker and a lot more deadlier. All right. Okay. I will just uh, keep on staring at it because although I'm disgusting, I'm weirdly dis intrigued. What happens if the lights go out? Lights flicker. Oh shit. Okay, I pulled yeah, out wait, a cell phone. Where, Jay, hurry where up. Where did the sculptor go? I am oh, yeah, cleaning yeah. as fast as I can. There's dried <laughs> up poop here. Yes. What do you want me to do? James comes back. How are you guys? Wait, where is it? What do you mean, where is it? Where is it? Where's oh. what? Oh, oh no. suck a dick. Oh shit. Okay. I am going to turn on my flashlight on my phone immediately. A huge sounding alarm starts to go off and a red light starts flashing. Where? Announcement comes. <laughs> SCP-173 has escaped its cell. This is not a drill. Why did you keep a flickering if light? Only we had better procedures of cleaning the room. <laughs> we turn to James for help. Well, he's dead on the ground. Okay. Good. Safer thing we can do is essentially go back to ourselves. Oh, but we still gotta clean this room, man. We were no. gonna have to do. <laughs> oh my god, Joe. Uh... You clean if you want to. Actually, that's not a bad idea. What if we lock ourselves in here, wait till this whole thing blows over, and then get out when it's safe? Ah, shit. Do we have access to close the door? Because we don't oh. have any access. Oh, uh, no, right now. no, you can't close the door. Yes. Oh my god, nice. Jay, don't help him. <laughs> Thank don't you. Holy crap. No, <laughs> you Jesus can't close Christ. the door. The door's locked. Yeah, you do. Uh, emergency. Dan, I feel like you just like killing us. I think we should sacrifice Jay when we see the thing. Hey, if you kill me, you lose an encyclopedia. I have a plan, guys. So all of us are going to hold hands, and then we're going to okay. put our backs to the wall, and then get out of here. If there is a lockdown breach, why wouldn't mm -hmm. all the doors shut down immediately? Like, close immediately? Because, you know, oh, prevent yeah. any other containment breaches? Uh, you know, for plot. <laughs> <laughs> well, we right. You guys put your backs on the wall and try to walk out. You have two doors in front of you. One door leads to a place where you remember seeing an SCP called Golden Tweezers? An another room that you remember seeing an SCP-426 called a toaster being in that vicinity. Which which direction do you go? Neither one sounds good. I think the tweezers one. The toasters one sounds like it will just burn us. I think we should go for the toaster, guys. Oh my god, Daniel. Democracy says majority vote, and majority vote says tweezers. <laughs> yeah, fine, yeah, whatever. Tweezers. You go in first. Wait a second, this is reverse psychology. Oh he actually god. wants us to go to the toaster, but he's saying do it, Holy so shit. Steven suggests the other oh thing. Oh my god, what a mastermind. <laughs> oh, never split up. Haven't you seen any horror movie ever? <laughs> I mean, we have three lives. What's the worst that could happen? Who goes into the toaster and who goes into the I'll gold go tweezer? Into the I'll golden go into the golden tweezer first. Tweezer. Um, all right, Dan, you and me, we go into the toaster, I guess. Jay Hosa Steven walks into the golden tweezers room. Once okay. you got in, you see this paper giving more information about the golden tweezer. What did it say? Whoever touches it will get an extreme case of OCD. It'll make you pluck out your hair one at a time, and then your nails, then your eyeballs, and then organs. If you force it out from the individual, the individual may use their hands to finish the job. Okay, do not touch that thing. As you do, Stephen vicariously touches the golden what tweezer. What the heck? <laughs> wow, this is so neat. He loses his focus in his eyes, and he starts to pluck his hair one at a time. Okay. Steven loses a life! <laughs> I do not touch Steven whatsoever. He killed himself. I'm not even gonna bother trying to pry that thing out Hi, of his Hi, Jay, plans. I would love a handshake. Thank you. <laughs> Steven throws the golden tweezer at Jay's face. Oh, Jay loses a Wait, knife. Are you serious? Too. I'll take my shirt off and then cover it. <laughs> I'm gonna be really mean and say Hosa doesn't lose a life. Wow! Wow! Okay. Oh, sorry. What is Yay. your favoritism? <laughs> Joe and Daniel goes in the toaster room. I hope you die. Also, there's a paper over there. I am SCP-426. I can only refer myself in first person. If someone is exposed in my presence for more than two months, they will start to try and become a toaster, trying to devour what? electric socket, stuffing themselves with bread, etc. So as long as we don't stay in here for two months, we'll be okay. Wow. Two months is a long time, so uh, I think we're good. All right, let's get out of here, Joe. Oh.
Sweet. I hate you. I hope you'll die. <laughs> oh, hey, you guys. What happened to your hair? All of you guys meet up, and there's two exits. In one exit, you see a pond, but the pond seems to be blood red. That's kind of creepy. Oh, that's not very good. I think we should drink it. Go ahead. Let me know how it tastes. Another one leads to a different room, but there seems to be a bunch of small one-eyed creatures just standing around. Oh, they're kind of cute. Wait, is this what I think it is? Well, what does it do, Jay? Enlighten us. Okay, it is either really good or horrifically bad. Okay, what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> wow, really, Jay? I had no I clue. I'll go to the blood pond. I feel like... I, I'm going to stick with the one-eyed creature. Jay, Joe, and Steven goes into this... Oh my god. I think I should just let Daniel <laughs> say where he's going first. The room with a bunch of one-eyed creatures. They are called SCP-131. The note says... Oh, often acts as pets and warns others of danger. Can I keep one? Yes, you can. And... <gasps> yes! Its eyes will remain open, which means... Oh. oh! Actually, how many is there in the room? There's a bunch. There's a lot. There's like... Uh, okay, I'm... everybody take one. Everybody take five. Can I just take two? Yeah. Okay. I, I would like to... Yes. Like, have a handful of these guys <laughs> who try to snuggle you when you pick them up. I will name you Squishy, and you will be Squishy Junior. Meanwhile, Squish <laughs> and Daniel walk into this um pod. Wait, we are outside, aren't we? Daniel looks up. It seemed like a sky before, but it really wasn't. It's just like an artificial sky. Uh-oh. What's happening? I'm not sure, dude. Oh, look, there's a note. Object class cater. Entities emerge from the pool. These creatures are aggressive and highly dangerous. Oh, shit. Instant death once entered. Ah, shit. <laughs> ah, no! Daniel and Hosa loses a life. Joe, Steven, and Jay walks in with a bunch of these skewed things. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel walks in, bloodied up, almost oh at the brink of death. Oh my god, you guys, check out these things. They're so adorable. You have to look at them. They're adorable. Look at them. Here you go. You can name them. Thank, thank you. <laughs> oh, look, another two door exits. Mm. So convenient. One door, you kind of open and it's, it's hot. And you open a little bit more and you see this man on fire. These have wings. Fireman? Okay, cool. You close it back. <laughs> and another right, door. Cool. Or you open and all you see are warnings to not look and you close the door again which one do you go into i highly suggest we go to actually the room that says do not look so how are you gonna enter this room then just look at the walls do not look anywhere else right. just ground or walls well you guys can do that i'm gonna go uh meet the fire guy because he seems like he would give a warm welcome <laughs> <laughs> i'll go with joe actually let's go let's, go. let's hold right. hands not because we have to i just want to jay <laughs> Steven and Daniel decide to go into the room where you see this warning sign to not look. As you open the door a little bit more, you can feel a presence of a creature at the far right side of the Hello, at the left side. creature! No, do not, do not look, do not look, do not look. The creature I'm, makes I'm a moaning sound. I Close the squishy's eyes and I walk along the wall as I look at the ground and just walk forward. You know how people used to make those human trains? Yep. We do a mini version of that and we all <laughs> look down and we exit and we're... Okay. You conga line, we do not want to die. We do not want to die. We do not want to die. Osa and Joe hey. mm -hmm. walks into this other room. This human that was really far away, it turns out to be a humanoid entity that is 320 meters tall. Wait, what? Jesus. It appears to have wings, but no one ever can really agree on exactly how many wings it has. And as you walk towards it, as if you're curious to know more about it, you get instantly disintegrated and you are erased from existence. Uh. Wow. Jose and Joe loses another life. So what happened to the pets then? <laughs> oh, the pets the died pets too. Died. Oh, no, the oh pets. no! Oh, and and also Hosa and Joe, but yeah, no, mostly the squishy pets. Squishy Joe! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. Joe, I will give you one of my squishies. Oh, thank you. Take care of Joe. No, you can't have any of mine. They're my boobs. No, so you are not getting drawn with boobs. Do you know how many gender bender fan art we get? Oh my God, I want gender bent fan art. <laughs> Joe, I will make sure I put that in for because you because I bet I look hot as a girl. Send him, send him gender bender memes. Yes. And
And then there are another two doors. One door leads to a man named Fernand. Another door leads to an orange slime. Orange slime, orange slime, orange slime. Okay, anyone contained in here obviously seems like they're a bad yeah, person. Yeah, let's, let's check the slime. How about that? I think the slime is just going to eat us. No, 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 no. Okay, wait, wait. Orange slime, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> is it delicious? No, 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 no. Don't you fucking dare eat the slime. Should I go into the other room just to see what it's about? Dana walks into this room and a man is just standing there. He's an eight foot tall man and he's 700 pounds. He has a giant jaw and a bulbous nose. What Daniel heck? tries to hold the conversation. Hi, what are you doing in here? He says, oh, hi. He walks up to Daniel, looks at Daniel. Daniel looks up at him. So, what what are you in for? Fernand the Giant bites Daniel's head off. Oh my god. Of course. Oh, no. See what happens when you don't go to the slime room? Daniel loses a life. Joe, Hosa, Jay, and Steven, betraying Daniel, goes into the orange slime's room. You guys are about to have the best time of your life. Basically, you see this huge orange slime with eyes. Oh. Yes! And there is a note. Consistency is peanut butter. Dog-like and playful nature. It will change the scent according to the person it loves hugs. Aww. It makes a cooing noise. Touch 999 surface gets an instant euphoria. It is attracted to hurt, unhappy, depressed individuals. I hugged the shit out of this. Oh, God. <laughs> Can I we keep this, this as a pet too? Oh I want to keep God. this as a pet too. <laughs> it increases its surface area and hugs all of you at the same Aww. time. And you feel at ease and happy all at the same time as soon as you touch it. Aww. Each of you smell something okay. differently. Uh, can we just stay in this room? Some of you smell your favorite food, or some of you smell like a, a childhood dream. Mmm, Hosa. I mean, <laughs> what? <laughs> death and destruction. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was thinking more like pizza, you know, laundry scent. I, I sniff myself. I, I don't smell anything. Yeah. Can we just stay here, Daniel? I, I would like to just stay here. This is just a nice room. Yeah, that's true. Daniel opens the door from the other exit. Come, let's go. I almost died. Oh, my <laughs> God. Not the pet. Oh, yeah. I I, uh, I threw the pet at the oh, man no. and I ran why, away. Why would you? Why would you do that? Oh. But it was either me or the pet. I, I nominate to sacrifice Dan. Let's go. What's that huge, ugly orange thing? Let's get out of here. Don't you insult him <laughs> like that. No, I punched Dan in the face. Ugh, what the fudge? <laughs> I will name him Charlie. So you guys walk out all together with the orange slime and a bunch of- You guys have a lot of pets. Yeah. Come on, G. There's two doors, but there doesn't seem to be any living creatures in there. One door is a cafeteria with a huge coffee vending machine. Another one is just- There's only a piece of paper in there. I'm pretty sure the paper is going to give us like a paper cut to death <laughs> or something. <laughs> I'm feeling a little hungry. Let's okay. let's go. I, I feel like I want some food. Does anyone go to the paper? I throw Dan <laughs> in the paper room. I have one life. I'm gonna follow everybody. Oh no! What a shame. I th I throw him back. Okay. I close the door on him after. How dare you? How dare you insult my great orange guy? And he threw his pet. I could handle one Steven, but Jay Steven back to back. This is so difficult. <laughs> I'm gonna go into the cafeteria to eat something. I'm really wow. Hungry. Fine. Wait. Don't eat stuff here. That's obviously a trap. Wait. Yes, Daniel, eat and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right, you go into the cafeteria, and there is a huge, almost ominous-looking vending machine. But this coffee machine doesn't seem to have any menu, only a keyboard. There's a note on there. It can produce any liquid you'd like. Anything that can be a liquid is able to be produced by typing the keyboard attached to the vending machine. Oh. Hostess love juice. Uh. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Uh, uh, okay, no, thank you. Do you guys want to get anything on the vending machine? Pureed caviar. It dispenses this liquid version of a caviar. It's almost like it's been grinded into a fine liquid. Jay, it's gonna be so fishy and salty. Why would you even want that? <laughs> Do you guys get anything? I get chocolate milk. Chocolate milk dispenses. Yay. Anything else? Wait. Universal poison antidote. Oh. It dispenses <laughs> a weird black liquid. Elixir of immortality. <laughs> 
Nothing comes out. <laughs> Nothing comes out. I want, I want a vial of the potion seller's strongest potions. Nothing comes out. Uh, okay, fine. <laughs> okay, okay, so the other room, the paper was blood sheet music. If the music sheet is looked at, any subject looking at it will attempt to complete the music sheet with their own blood. Mm. Once they complete a small part of the sheet, they will then kill themselves, often saying the piece was impossible to complete. This time, you see, you see two rooms. One room leads to a man just minding, really minding his own business. Oh, mm. well, he's a doctor. Another room just has like a... Is that a bell? A bell? All you see a is a bell. silver bell. Give us Wait, a bell? <gasps> Wait, is that the... Si he won't tell us, Jay. If you want to be a zombie, go to the doctor. I want a butler. I'm taking the silver bell. Okay, okay. Kay. We already have enough pets. I don't think another would really do much. No, you don't understand. This butler is nigh immortal, okay? Ooh, so, so we get our own Alfred? I'm pretty sure just based on looks alone, the first guy looks kind of sketchy. I'd like to go to the silver bell. The silver, silver bell. bell. Okay, I'll follow. You guys all go into this room with the silver bell. Nothing happens. Uh, there's a note there. A well-dressed butler hey. calls himself Mr. Deed appears when wrong. Yes, Mr. Deed. <laughs> can do most menial tasks, can't complete larger <laughs> and difficult tasks. He can be injured or killed but fully recovers once out of sight. He can literally die for us, and then if we ring the bell again, he'll come back to life. Would you like me to do your service, sir? Oh, hi, Mr. Deed. But guys, we should really leave the stuff here, you know? It really isn't ours. This is a government facility. I slapped the Dan across <laughs> the face. Do you require me to bitch slap Sir Daniel, sir? <laughs> what the <laughs> Yes! Stop it! <laughs> oh, oh my... <laughs> Alright, there's two rooms. Both rooms lead to outside. One room has a farmhouse outside. Another room has a huge lake. Hmm. Let's go to the farmhouse. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's ask Alfred. I, I <laughs> ring the bell. Oh, Alfred! Alfred, which path do you think would be the safer one to take if we were to trying to survive? First of all, my name is Mr. Deed. <laughs> <laughs> if you would like, sir, I can go in there for you. Wow, you sound so much different, Mr. Deed. I thought you had a British accent. Yeah. That, that sounds like a good idea, Alfred. Why don't you go in there? Try the lake. He goes in the lake, <laughs> and after a while, he comes back, but he doesn't remember anything. Oh my well, god, try the other one. There's one thing you have to remember about Mr. Deed is he can't remember what he does once he comes back. If he gets you a glass of lemonade, he can't remember where he got you that glass of lemonade. Mm. So he might have stolen it from a child? Yeah, he might have. Steven does not condone child stealing. Yeah, but he came okay. back. Came... That's the thing, he didn't die. Even if he dies, he can still come back. <laughs> Let's just go to the lake. I, I'm gonna go in the yeah, lake. Still, I don't I'm care. Going in the lake. Fine then. Let's all go to the yeah, lake. Once you get in, you see nothing at first. Soon you see floating corpses. You guys all see different things. You see people that you've known in your childhood. Oh hey, it's Hollem. Oh hey, it's Steven. Oh hey, it's my dead parents. <laughs> Mrs. Dankworth, why are you here? And you notice them, you're tempted to go and touch these corpses. Why would I touch corpses that I didn't kill? Okay, oh, we have SCP-999, the orange slime. So another good thing about the orange slime is it will try to save humans as much as possible. Aww, it notices you. that you guys are trying to go into the lake, and it snaps you out of it by giving you a dose of euphoria. What happened? <laughs> you guys keep walking. It seemed like outside, but again, it was a fake outside, and you go back yeah, in oh the my God. facilities. Oh my god, there's another two doors. <laughs> oh no. One door, <laughs> you hear people's voices. It says, hide, 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 hide. Don't let it come. Help! Another door, you don't hear anything. Hmm. Well, that's helpful. Don't go into the room with people. I go into the room with people. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. I go to the silent room. Ooh, ooh, Mr. Deed, Mr. Deed. I mean, Alfred. My name's Mr. Deed. Uh, no, your name's Alfred. Hey, Alfred. Oh, yes, sir. Can you give me, like... <laughs> he sounds so defeated. <laughs> can you make me incredibly camouflaged that I can fit into any environment? Of course, sir. Nice. And then he comes back with a bunch of camouflage clothing. I guess I'll, I'll put it on, and then I go into the room with people. I ask for the same camouflage, and I choose a room with people. But we have to be Why really, really ask, sneaky. Can you get us a phone? Actually, Wait. yeah, no, he's capable <laughs> yeah. of Yeah, people. what the heck? Um, <laughs> guys, I, I think we should stop relying on Mr. D so much <laughs> and just go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mr. D, get us perfect camouflage clothing. Right, you all get perfect camouflage. Oh my god, where'd everyone go? You open the door and you hear, Help! Oh my god, help! Do not respond, ever. 
and silence. Yeah, we just all keep yeah, walking, Daniel. Just, we pull a Steven and <laughs> do nothing. <laughs> Steven, stop talking. From the dark, you see these amphibian-like looking creatures in packed. It doesn't have seem to have any eyes. Oh. Walk slowly. <laughs> Sneak around. The creature opens his mouth and you hear another voice. Please don't kill me. Oh. How long is this room? What the heck? Why aren't we out already? <laughs> I still got to do the plot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but guys, by the way, I'm going to have to do this. I'm sorry. You're going to hate me for this. You <laughs> okay. all have camouflage, but your pets didn't. What? Oh, no, 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 no. They're on us. They're in my bra. They're in my boobs. <laughs> the amphibian sees the orange slime. Uh, <laughs> no, not the orange slime. No. It smells the orange slime. You can either throw it away or lose a life, Steven. I will lose a life. <laughs> <laughs> the amphibian mauls Steven and he loses a life. Good job. Stop, Steven. You're you're awesome yeah. in my book. Uh, did the pet live? Yeah, the pet lived, I guess. Steven! <laughs> no! He's back. I'm okay! I think the things that we do extend to our pets, they're an extension of our being at this point. You guys have a lot of pets, okay? At this yeah, point, have, you've like, just collected a bunch of SCPs as pets. <laughs> and like, like, what the fuck is this recording? Okay, let's 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 end this. You guys have Mr. Deed, mm -hmm. yes. an orange slime, four one-eyed creatures. And I have chocolate milk, <laughs> in case anybody gets thirsty. You escape the scary amphibians, and now there's only one door. The exit. Oh. Yay. <gasps> no, this guys, is obviously a trap. the exit. You guys, it's been a long day of hard work. I'm ready for my paycheck. I think it's time for us to clock out. So I'm gonna go through the exit. <laughs> I wanna get out of here. My god, we've yeah. been here for like okay, hours. Okay, it's either going back through all that hell or go through this door anyway. Oh, let's let's be yeah, honest. Dude, let's get out of here, man. Daniel opens the door and from outside you see the sun shining and a, you hear a bunch of sirens. Oh, oh and oh. A, a group of people that look like soldiers are pointing their rifles at you. Oh, sh oh, oh I no. throw That's, the pets out yeah. of the oh, way. No. <laughs> <laughs> don't you? Please, don't kill me you who are covered in scp 173's feces and blood and a bunch <laughs> of other scps are there as well they don't think you are human do not trust them open fire no. don't you oh, no i'm human Wait, who still has two lives <laughs> the soldiers shoot Twice. jay and joe again <laughs> I, <shoot laughs> <Daniel. laughs> uh, I do another street fighter death <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>